In today's video, we're focusing on A. Philip Randolph, a monumental figure in the civil rights movement and labor activism. But before we begin, consider joining the channel and be sure to check out our merch. Your support helps us fund videos like this one and others that so desperately need to be told. Now back to the video. Born in 1889 in Crescent City, Florida, Randolph's journey from humble beginnings to a national leader is a story of resilience, determination, and unwavering commitment to justice. Join us as we explore the life and legacy of this influential figure. The story begins in the small town of Crescent City, where he was born into a family deeply rooted in religious and intellectual traditions. His father, a preacher, instilled in him a strong sense of justice and morality. Randolph's pursuit of education led him to the Cookman Institute, Florida's first all-black higher education institution. In 1911, inspired by the Harlem Renaissance and figures like W.E.B. Du Bois, Randolph moved to New York City, immersing himself in the vibrant cultural and political scene of Harlem. In Harlem, Randolph found his voice. Teaming up with Chandler Owen in 1915, he co-founded The Messenger magazine, a publication that became a platform for socialist ideas and advocacy for black workers. Their bold critiques of the Wilson administration during World War I even led to their arrest in 1918. Randolph's evolving political views, including his criticism of Marcus Garvey, positioned him as a prominent voice in Harlem's black leadership. 1925 marked a turning point in Randolph's life with the founding of the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, BSCP. Addressing the exploitation of African-American workers in the Pullman Palace Car Company, the BSCP under Randolph's leadership fought for fair wages and better working conditions. This movement led to the BSCP's recognition by the American Federation of Labor, a historic achievement for black labor rights. Randolph's activism extended beyond labor rights. His threat of a march in Washington, D.C. in 1941 led President Franklin D. Roosevelt to issue Executive Order 8802, prohibiting racial discrimination in the defense industry. Randolph's efforts also influenced President Harry Truman's decision to desegregate the armed forces in 1948. In the late 1950s, he continued to advocate for school integration and founded the Negro American Labor Council to combat racism in labor unions. The pinnacle of Randolph's civil rights activism came in 1963 with the March on Washington, a watershed moment in American history. Despite personal loss, Randolph's leadership in organizing the march was instrumental in the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. After retiring from the BSCP in 1968, Randolph's public role diminished, but his influence persisted through the A. Philip Randolph Institute, dedicated to promoting racial equality and economic justice. Randolph's legacy is profound and far-reaching. His strategies of peaceful protest and block voting became hallmarks of the civil rights movement. Figures like Edie Nixon, instrumental in the Montgomery bus boycott, drew inspiration from Randolph's methods. Randolph's impact resonated nationwide, shaping key events and strategies of the movement. From mass voter registration drives to nonviolent direct action. As we reflect on the life of A. Philip Randolph, we are reminded of the power of steadfast advocacy and strategic action in the fight for equality. His contributions to labor rights and the civil rights movement have left an indelible mark on American history. If you learned anything in this video, consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with someone to help spread the word on black inventors in American black history so that these heroes will never be forgotten. See you in the next video.